Hey guys, so I wanted to record a quick video um, to talk to you guys about how I deep clean my brushes. I've had a lot of actually emails on my style Facebook on how I clean my brushes and I wanted to give you guys a quick demonstration and just let you know um, step by step what I do and what I use. So I hope this helps all of you and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks. Okay, so first what I do is um, to clean my brushes. Now this is something that you really want to try to do at least once a week and for the brushes that you use on a daily basis you want to try to do this, um, you know, do a quick wash after each use because if not you're just applying the oil, bacteria, and dirt that is coming off of your face or collecting dust from sitting in your brush holder and you're reapplying it to your face if you don't wash your brushes. So you want to make sure that you keep these bacteria free because then it's going to cause acne breakouts and you definitely don't want that. So this is just the way that I personally wash my brushes. Everybody does it differently but first what I like to do is I do a mixture. I use baby shampoo. I do not use regular shampoo for this because it's too harsh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the baby shampoo and I'm going to mix it in the bowl. And then I like to add um, a little bit of baby oil so it really makes the brushes soft and shiny and kind of helps you reform them. Um, some people use olive oil, but I just add a tiny bit of baby oil. So then from here you have a mixture. So then my next step is you're going to take your brush and you're just going to whisk it around in the mixture. And then once it's nice and soapy and you really got it covered in the mixture, all I do is I run water. And you don't want to do hot water. You don't want to do cold water. I just kind of do like a warm, uh, warm water. And what I do is I kind of start brushing it back and forth on my hand. I don't recommend using a towel or a paper towel to do this because it can really uh, make your bristles kind of kinked up. So I'm just, and then I'm just going to rinse gently. And you want to hold your brush downward. Um, you don't want to let the water get up past this metal point because then it's going to loosen the glue and your brush will eventually fall apart. So you just want to um, hold it downward as you're rinsing it. And then I just sit it on towel sideways and go on to the next one. So I'm going to just whisk this in the cleaner. Ugh, this was like my most frequently used blending brush so that's really gross just so that you get that soap in there and then just rinse So what I do when all my brushes are clean, now I had a lot of brushes to clean because I was like way behind um, with washing them because I have several sets so I was avoiding washing these and using another set. Um, so after I do that, all of my brushes are damp, I kind of just make sure that they're kind of shaped, you know, I don't want them to be all sprawled out. So I make sure that they're shaped, you know, straight and all the bristles are nice and straight. So what you want to do is, since you want to avoid 
getting water past this metal point because then it's gonna, if you let them dry straight up and down like this, it's going to let the water seep down into the metal head of it and it's gonna start to loosen this glue and eventually you'll have a brush that deconnects from the wood stem. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that they dry upside down so that any kind of water or moisture is going to dry and come out this way rather than up into the handle. So you're probably wondering how the heck am I going to let them dry upside down. So usually what I do is I'll just get a glass or a mug and I'll just sit them in there like this. So I'm just going to sit them and I kind of just lean them in the glass and let them dry like that and put them in there gently so because if you slam them down then it's going to open the bristles back up so i'm going to let these dry and then we'll put them away when they are done so i hope that tutorial um helped you guys out with how to clean your brushes and like i said you want to really make sure that you give them a deep cleaning probably about once a week and then the regular ones that you're using on a daily basis especially your foundation brush say hi hi <laughs> especially your foundation brush you want to kind of wipe wipe that down every day just so that you're not transferring all the oils and dirt back onto your face um daily <laughs> so sorry about chase it's crazy so I hope that helped you guys and feel free to put any video requests in the comment section. And if you enjoy watching my videos, click subscribe. It's completely free and it just allows you to get notifications when I do post a new video. Thank you guys for the support and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye!